In this one I'm going to talk about a pattern called the Null Object Pattern. So whilst not an official Gang of Four design pattern, it is something which is quite commonplace these days and so it can be regarded as a design pattern. And it replaces the use of Null with an object. So if you think of scenarios where you check in for an instance of an object or Null and having to put conditions in your code, this is what the Null Object exists to replace, which leads to simplified code a reduction in null exceptions, fewer conditionals in your code, and therefore less testing required. To demonstrate this, we'll use some of the classes which we created in our dependency injection lesson. So if you recall, we had this abstract file writer class, and then we extended that with other types of file writers, such as the JSON file writer that you see here. And then in order to use it, we injected that into the constructor of this random processor here. And I think these classes should be fairly good for demonstrating the null object. A null object using something like this would be where there might be a scenario where you don't want to write to the file, you just want to run the process without writing to the file. So in that case, you wouldn't want to instantiate a file writer. And so the most common solution that you'll see people come up with is just to use null and then they'll check if the object is null and if so, they'll avoid actually writing to the file. So let's give that a try and see what's actually involved and what changes we'd have to make to our code in order to be able to pass null. So I'm inside the public folder, I'm creating a new um, client file which we'll use to try this stuff out and I've just called it null-object.php. I'm going to copy the code from the dependency injection file and we can borrow this as a template remove this and in the random processor constructor I am passing null and then we need to go to the terminal and try this out so php public forward slash null object dot php as you can see random processor construct must be argument one must be type file writer so let's have a look at the steps we'd need to um, carry out in order to be able to use null First off, we'd need to check whether the file writer is null, otherwise we will get those exceptions thrown when we try to call methods on it. Then we need to have a look at the constructor because we're already getting the exception saying that must be instance of file writer. So we now need to allow file writer or null, which means that we must also make the file writer property nullable. And so just by allowing null there, we've created two new rules and one new condition. The more rules you have and the more conditions you have, the more uncertain your code is and the more things you have to test. What I've done here is I reverted the random processor back to its original state, so all of our conditions and the rules where we allow null through the constructor have gone. And in the source folder, I've created a new class called null file writer. Like my other file writers, this will also extend the file writer abstract class if we recall with an abstract method and that is write to file so I must implement that except this is going to be completely inert well not completely because as you can see the signature specifies I must return a boolean but that is literally all that this method will do there will be no writing to a file when this method is called nothing will happen apart from it will just return true for any process which calls it to continue working. So in our null object PHP file, let's pass this into the constructor instead of null. Then we should be able to demo this without seeing any exceptions and the process should run start to finish. And there you go. So we get the continue processing method. What I'm going to do is just put in some text in the write to file method of the null file writer just to prove that the insides of this is being called. And there you go. So let's check against the goals which we set ourselves at the beginning of this recording. We've simplified our code, we've reduced the likelihood of null exceptions, we have fewer conditionals and therefore there is less testing required.